Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro, and today we're going to be taking a look at running an OpenSense VM in Proxmox. So the first thing we need to do is download the OpenSense installation ISO. Once the download completes, we need to extract the ISO file from the archive. Next, we need to upload the ISO to the Proxmox host. So open a web browser and navigate to the Proxmox web UI and log in. On the left side of the screen, expand Data Center and the Proxmox node name. Select the target storage device to upload the ISO to. Select ISO images and then upload. Click the Select File button and navigate to the OpenSense ISO file. Then click the Upload button. After the upload completes, close the dialog window, right click on the Proxmox node name, create VM, give the VM an ID and a name. On the OS tab, select the storage where the ISO is uploaded, and then select the OpenSense ISO file. Leave the defaults on the system tab. Set the hard disk size to 8 gigabytes. Set the CPU cores to 2 and the type to host. Leave the memory at 2 gigs and click next. Uncheck the firewall box on the network tab and click next. Then click finish. Select the OpenSense VM from the left navigation, then hardware. Click the add drop down and select network device. Uncheck the firewall checkbox and click add. Select options on the left. Then double click the Use Tablet for Pointer, uncheck the Enabled box and click OK. Click Start in the upper right corner of the screen to start the VM, then select Console. Wait while OpenSense boots for the first time. At the login prompt, log in with the username installer and password OpenSense. Select a keyboard map and press enter. Press enter to select the install UFS option. Select the QMU hard disk and press enter. Select yes and press enter to confirm. Wait while the OpenSense installer copies files. When prompted, press enter to set a new root password. Type in and confirm the new password. Select Complete Install and press Enter. Next, we want to stop the VM so we can remove the install ISO. Select Hardware on the left, then double click the CD drive, and select Do Not Use Any Media and click OK. Click the Start button to start up the VM, and then Console. Again, wait while OpenSense boots, but this time from the hard disk. When prompted, Log in with the username root and the password set during the installation. At this point, OpenSense is installed. Now we need to configure an IP address for the network interfaces. This will vary based on your network and how you intend to use OpenSense. I'll just quickly set a static IP address so I can reach the web UI. After stepping through the IP address configuration prompts, open up a new browser tab and navigate to the static IP address set for OpenSense. Log in with the username root and the password set during installation. Welcome to OpenSense, running as a Proxmox VM.